madiyaw nga hinaak kaniyo nga tanan. Congratulations to UP Mindanao on its 29th founding anniversary with a theme, Duyog sa Pag-alagan, Sustainable Partnership in Service to the People. Almost three decades ago, when UP Mindanao was established, I was a young lawyer who had just passed the bar and who was eagerly looking forward to a future in the service of justice, peace, and prosperity for our people. Like many idealistic youths, I would soon realize that the road to fulfilling our dreams is more tortuous than we can imagine. Full of twists, turns, potholes, and steep ravines. But I also discovered that if we keep true to our vision and hard work to achieve it, great things can happen, whatever the odds. It was thus no coincidence that when I held my investiture last year as the 22nd president of our beloved university, I chose for it to happen at none other than UP Mindanao. As UP's first president with human roots in Mindanao, I felt that our destinies were intertwined. I have a personal stake in your success and in the hopes and aspirations of the many thousands of Mindanaoan students you have graduated. When UP Mindanao was formally established in February 20, 1995, through Republic Act 7889, by then President Fidel D. Ramos, there was some doubt and skepticism raised by the fact that it was the first constituent university in the UP system that was created by legislative fiat in response to the clamor of the region's political and civic leaders. Some even saw it as an unnecessary burden, something that would surely fail in a few years' time. You have proven those doubters wrong. Instead of failing, you have flourished, literally taming the wilderness out of which you arose to become a bastion of the best higher education, a UP education we could offer to the people of Mindanao. In the first year of my term alone, I have witnessed the immense progress that UP Min has made. This included the establishment of new multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary research centers, such as the Disease Watch and Analytics, DIWA, Agri-Food Systems Analytics Lab, and Agri-Aqua Value Chain Lab. These centers are providing training to faculty and students in programs that will make a difference in the lives of our people, in Mindanao and beyond. Academic excellence is important and it is an integral and inalienable component of our mission as the national university. This means that we should guarantee that a diploma earned in UP Mindanao is just as worthy and as valuable as any other earned from another UP constituent university. Quality education, after all, has been identified as one of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. As SDG number four, education is the key in breaking the cycle of poverty and underdevelopment. And I am glad to see that you are doing everything within your capabilities to achieve and ensure 
that standard of quality. If there is anything more I can do to help, then I most certainly will. In all these endeavors, what's important is that we don't lose sight of our common goals and aspiration. To sum things up, under my presidency, I want to create a UP that will check three boxes. First, it must be progressive in that it will be a first-class academic institution engaged in cutting-edge research and teaching, attuned to the global environment and an avatar of academic freedom. But it also must be inclusive in that it is university for Filipinos, responsive to both its internal and external publics, cooperating and co-creating with its academic peers, and proactively supporting of the underserved and underrepresented. In line with this, the UP Admissions Office has been making extra efforts to reach far-flung places of the region just to announce to our youth that UP portals are open to all and that UP education in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao is subjected to the same quality assessment management. In this respect, and as part of its expansion, and despite the obstacles it is facing when it comes to infrastructure, UP Mindanao is marching on with its Road to 5,000 program, which aims to achieve an enrollment target of 5,000 students on or before 2029. More UP Mindanao students means more Mindanaoans served and ultimately a greater contribution from Mindanao to Philippine society, governance, and development. I know that your program includes making the unit more diverse and accessible to students, curricular revision of undergraduate programs, introducing a ladderized education program that allows graduates of associate in arts in sports studies to continue to the bachelor's in sports science. And more importantly, further expanding application and admission campaigns in 2023 in Caraga, Region 12, Davao de Oro, Marilong District, Bukidnon Province, and Region 10, Iligan City, Basilan Sunu Tawitawi. Additionally, UP must be transformative in that it is engaged in nothing less than the transformation of Filipino life and society toward more social justice, economic equity, and civil liberty. To achieve this, we must put our search for knowledge and indeed ourselves in the service of the nation. Speaking of service, at least under my administration, we will expand our traditional motto of honor and excellence to include that third but vital word. Both honor and excellence are inner virtues that others may not even see or benefit from. Service, on the other hand, extends outward and brings meaning and fulfillment to both. You honor not just yourself, but others. You excel not just for yourself, but for others. That, to me, is the true spirit of you. Thus, honor, excellence, service for the Filipino people. A vital component of service is our partnership with other SUCs and institutions for our mutual benefit. 
UP is a leader in higher education, but we are also lifelong learners who have much to gain from collaborating with partners on the ground. As this year's anniversary team espouses, sustainable partnerships are the new way to ensure development in Mindanao. To the UP Mindanao Philippine Genome Center, Mindanao, Mindanao Study Center, Wildlife Human Interaction Studies, and Ecological Research, or WISER, La, and the Coral Reef Resiliency and Ecology Studies, Crest La. We are helping communities flourish. UP Min is also undertaking productive partnerships with the government and other SUCs in such endeavors as with the Marilong and Laak Land Reservation Livelihood Programs in Cacao, in partnership with Davao de Oro State College and Davao City LGU. Most of all, Mindanao continues to lead sustainable partnerships in the historical development of BARM, coordinating with the BARM Ministries of Housing, Settlement and Development, Ministry of Basic, Higher and Technical Education, and Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs. The success of the UB Bangsamoro Development Program will promote access to quality education, improve health outcomes, strengthen the capabilities of SUCs and LGUs, reinforce partnerships in BARM, and rehabilitate conflict-affected communities. We have also helped stakeholders to produce well-crafted, science-based development plans for the community, which are resilient to natural hazards and climate change impacts. This is UP flexing its best as a transformative university seeking peaceful solutions to major economic, social, health, and environmental problems in the region. As the UN's landmark SDG declaration put it, the key to humanity's survival and progress depends on our ability to unify the five Ps. People, planet, prosperity, peace and partnership. UP Mindanao stands proudly at the forefront of these efforts in Mindanao, and I stand proudly with you in fulfilling your mission. Many challenges yet lie ahead for you, but as a native son of Mindanao, I pledge my full support for your endeavors and initiatives. And conversely, I will also hold you to the highest standards of performance so we can show others what we Mindanaoans are capable of achieving, not just for ourselves, but for our people and our nation. Again, my warmest congratulations and best wishes. Mabuhi ang UP Mindanao at mabuhi tayo lahat. Thank you very much, UP President Jimenez, for believing in UP Mindanao and for challenging us to be better, to excel, not just for ourselves, but for the people. 